Hi guys, in today's episode of the do-it-yourself inspection series, we're gonna be looking at roofs, roof soffits, eaves, and how to determine roof ventilation. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to another free walkthrough. You can see that, see that steam coming off. It's cold this morning. Uh, what we're doing today is, is a free walk around and we're teaching you how to use our inspection guide. And so I'll, I'll take you there real quick. But, but this is another contest winner that we're gonna take you around and look for various things, how you can do a visual inspection on your property uh, quickly and easily. So why don't you come over here? We've done a little do-it-yourself inspection guide and this is downloadable on our website. And this is just a cut of a, of a simple building. Yeah, this one has a flat roof. This one that we're standing on doesn't. So you can start with the angle portions of the roof. And what we're gonna, we're gonna start top down today. We're gonna be looking at roof issues, windows, these, this horizontal trim or belly bands, any kind of upper decks. And we'll kind of work our way down the wall. Okay, starting with the roof, I want to understand how the roof ventilates. So at the peak of the roof, in this case, I'll see a ridge vent so that air can come out and go out the, go out the top. So I'm, I'm looking for some eave venting. It's also called bird blocking. So let me take you over to this. You can see, you can see that little lip across the top of the ridge. You can see it over on this building as well. So you can see it's got ridge venting. Now let's see if it has eave venting. Yes, so we've got these, we've got a couple different types. You've got these three holes, then you've got a square vent, and then a few bays later you've got another vent. Under here, I don't see any vents. I see maybe there's a gap, maybe not, but the thing that sticks out at me here is it's, the venting isn't a pattern. So it's not every other vent, or every other bay, excuse me. Sometimes you'll see it every bay or every other bay. Here it's three bays, one, one, then a vent, four bays, five bays, one. So it's, it's spotty. And so that starts messing with the calculations because we, the size of the circle is the square inches of ventilation that get through there. And so I would say this roof is underventilated or that could lead us to excess buildup on the roofs, like we talked about earlier, of moss, et cetera. So we'll want to walk around and make sure this just isn't an anomaly, but you want to see these events every bay, if not every other bay. Once any more than that, you probably have an underventilated condition. So again, we come over to another building. You can see similar patterns on the roof ventilation. Starts out with every other. There's circles, blank, big vent, blank, blank, blank. Then into here, no ventilation at all. Um, now as we're at the eaves, you can look under. We don't see any soffit venting, and, in ac and actually we see, looks like soffit vents were closed up. We have plugs that have been placed in the holes all along here. So we would want to do that if we are creating a warm roof, which means you'll have insulation on top of it. Just from looking at the roofs, I don't expect to find a warm roof condition. That's more typically used on flat roofs, um, but it would be a, why do I have block soffits? So call a roofer, have your, you know, jump up in the attic, make sure you have proper ventilation. And then we've worked with, work with communities that say, oh, I saw these holes, so I better block them. And so they're there for ventilation. So let's make sure they're working correctly. So skylights are nothing more than a hole in the roof. And so they have to be flashed really well. And when they're so close like this, how did we get that transition done between them? So that's, that would be a, I'd want to know, you know, have a roofer check that and make, make sure that that's done right. I'm not really worried about maple leaves that are on the corner. What's more interesting to me on the roof is moss growth. So you can see where water has dripped down on these lower roofs. You can see it at all the lower roof intersections where you have some moss growing. And then around your, around your penetrations. The plumbing vent flap or flange that's curling. Bottom of the plumbing vent there, you can see the bottom flange actually curved like this. It's not sitting flat. 
and I can see that on that one. I can see it on that one over there on the far, far side. Wind-driven rain can blow right up underneath that. And so now we no longer have a watertight vent penetration. Hi guys, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned something. Our goal is to teach you how to do it yourself and inspect your own buildings. So if you missed any episodes, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing, hit that bell and you'll be notified for more educational videos. Thanks for watching.